Raptor is ready and new road closure dates for Highway 4 in Boca Chica, new black rings stacked on prototype and Florida building internals, and Mars rover detects unusually high amounts of methane on Mars. My name is Felix and I am your host for today's episode of What About It. The 4th of July has passed in the United States and as the firework smoke settles we get a clearer view into space again. A lot of things have happened in the past few days, so let's dive right in. SpaceX has quietly been polishing SN06 and getting rid of problems they had with SN05. It just didn't behave the way SpaceX would have wanted it to behave. After Raptor liberated its oxygen turbine stator, SpaceX had to redesign and test a few parts. As it seems right now, this test might finally go as planned. According to Chris Bergen from nasaspaceflight.com, SN06 was at the test facility in McGregor, Texas and is now being prepared to be shipped to Boca Chica this week. Just yesterday, Elon tweeted that the 600Hz problem they had causing the oxygen turbine stator to come apart seems to be fixed. In McGregor, the new and improved Raptor went through its paces and passed. That would fit with new road closure dates recently released by Brownsville County. New road closure dates for Starhopper and Highway 4 in Boca Chica. It's been a while since I last updated you with new road closure dates for Highway 4 in Boca Chica. According to County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr., Highway 4 in Boca Chica will be closed for SpaceX launch test activities on the 14th and 17th, with alternate dates on the 15th, 16th, 18th and 19th. That will be next Sunday and Wednesday, so less than one week until we might see SN06 in action. Don't get your hopes too high for an actual hop though. These tests, if they actually happen, might also just be pressure or static fire tests. As SN06 is new territory, SpaceX will probably take it slow. At least though, we have new dates to look forward to. New black ring added to Boca Chica orbital prototype. The orbital prototype is growing further and further. A new black segment has been added to the stack. There are so many theories out there about what the black plating is for. Thank you for each and every comment. We have everything from thermal insulation to methane cooling or tracking purposes. My biggest question right now is how big that prototype will get. In this mock-up render you see how big it should get. Now add the section we just saw being mounted and another one waiting on the ground. It's pretty tall already. How many more segments will they stack before they finish it up with a cone? Maybe two more and then the nose cone? We're getting close. Also, the pad has been coated and is getting closer and closer to operation. Better so if they want to make it fly this year. The mother of invention has visited Boca Chica too and checked out the progress that's been made on Starhopper and the orbital prototype. Elon, is it a good sign or a bad one if mom checks the homework? She looks like she enjoyed the show though. That's all there is on Boca Chica right now. Florida is building internals and being pretty quiet. One thing to report though is that an internal bulkhead has been spotted. That is an outer wall of a propellant or oxygenator tank likely for the Coco prototype. As they are further with the external build than Boca Chica, they are likely to build the internals right now. So expect them to build more internals than externals in the near future. But enough of SpaceX now, what is NASA doing? NASA Curiosity rover finds unusually large amount of methane on Mars. Some of us have probably already heard the news that NASA's Curiosity rover has found methane on Mars. Or should I say found again? But what about it? What makes methane so special on Mars and why is NASA hunting it? To make it short, methane could be an indicator for possible life on Mars. Methane is known as a so-called natural gas. On Earth, it is produced by many different forms of organisms. Methanogens, for example, thrive on Earth in places lacking oxygen like animals digestion tracts or more interestingly, as we have yet to find cows on Mars, in rocks deep beneath the surface. These bacteria could have evolved on Mars 4 billion years ago, when it was still much warmer and moist on our red neighbor. Then, as Mars became more and more arid and desert-like, the microbes could have retreated underground and survived until today. Methane on Mars has a history of being an elusive ghostly shadow, only to disappear as soon as it's been discovered. 
Normally, Mars's atmosphere has very little to no methane, as methane tends to get dissolved by natural processes such as UV radiation or recently proposed rock corrosion as it binds to substances inside Mars's surface. The first clues for methane on Mars, even though there should virtually be none, came from NASA's Curiosity rover and Mars Express, a European satellite orbiting Mars. Both detected a puff of methane of up to 7 parts per billion back in 2013 that lasted for two months. Since then, scientists searched everywhere, even with new equipment like the European Trace Gas Orbiter. The ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter is a satellite specially designed to find smallest amount of gas concentrations in Mars's atmosphere. For this, it's orbiting Mars in a low orbit at about 400 kilometers from the surface, and it found none. Then, on June 19th this year, Curiosity smelled methane again in Gale Crater. This time up to 21 parts per billion. That's three times the spike from back in 2013. Scientists at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena immediately rescheduled the weekend's science tasks to be able to make more measurements, only to find out after the weekend that the methane was gone again. This gives us two important clues though. First of all, it's been speculated for a while now that methane on Mars is seasonal. In summer, there's more than in winter. This would speak against methane created by geothermal activity, as that would not be bound to seasons. The second important clue is that methane seems to be local on Mars, only created in certain times at certain places. This, on the other hand, speaks for another theory out there that the methane is from the planet's past that it was stored in the Martian crust a long time ago and that when a crack appears, a short puff of methane is released. The hunt continues though, where there's methane, there could be life. Scientists from both NASA and Europe will continue to hunt down the elusive gas on Mars. Maybe it leads us to those little stinkers hiding under the surface and fooling around with us. I'll let you know as soon as the rover sniffs the next puff of methane on Mars. So this again wraps up today's episode of What About It? Will the hopper hop this month? Will Elon get in trouble from his mom? And where do the farts in Mars's atmosphere come from? As always, tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching this episode of What About It? If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and like as this helps me the most. Feel free to hit me up on my Patreon page so I can get additional help in making more and better content. As this gives me more time to focus on what I love doing the most, to give you the latest and greatest about space and science. I hope to see you on the next episode. Until then, have a great time. But don't get your hops... <laughs> but don't get your... But don't get your hops... No. But enough of Spexex... Spexex. Spexex, your space company. Animals dis disease. Disease. Disease.